Okay, so I've got my next eight by nine and a half sheet, and uh, I'm gonna do just uh, double pockets down here. Um, so, in order to do the double pockets, move this out of the way. In order to do double pockets, and I'm gonna have the pockets um, five inches. And this is uh, nine and a half, so that will give me, it's a little above half way mark, but then I'm going to uh, run this, which is three eighths of the inch, so it'll get me back down to about, about four and a half. And I have exactly four and a half left of this sheet, which I thought, because it's on the opposite page, I would face the front of my pockets with this and then decorate that. So that's my feelings or you know what I'm thinking of so far. Um, and in order to get the biggest bang for my buck for the cut, um, instead of cutting five inches here and really only going to get one pocket and then doing another five inches here, I'm going to cut it this way I'll get both pockets out of it and they'll both be exactly the same height, if that makes sense to you. Let's see here. Um, okay, so this is not cut super super straight yeah so let me um, just give this a little straightening up job here alright now let me see if I'm going to be doing any better oh yeah much better alright Oh, for heaven's sakes, get in there. All right, so there's that. And then um, my paper is eight inches across. So it's going to be, each pocket's going to be four inches across. But then I need a half inch on this side and a half inch on this side. So that makes them each five inches across. And this is... Um, uh, I'm sorry, this is 11, so, oops, right now we're going to have a 5 inch by 5 inch. So these are right now five inch squares and so anything goes <laughs> I can pick whichever side I want to so I'm going to do a half inch on one side and give it a fold on one of these. And that looks like it's 
way longer than a half inch longer. So what did I do? Four inches. Cut it five, half inch, and half inch. So I might be doing it this way. Let me find the four inch mark on here. color I don't know anything about. <laughs> okay. Mark on there. So that one goes. And that is where that one goes. Now let's see how we end up. What? Who? Oh, are you watching? Oh. I gotcha. Pretty good. Okay. Just a little bit. So I think if I take out, take one of the pages, one of the um, flaps, and don't put it on around the back side of the paper that it's going to work perfectly and that brings those two together so that's how I'm going to fix that one okay now I'm going to let me erase this just in case it shouldn't show but just in case and make sure I've got none showing I have uh, since I can center that I centered it there we go a lot shorter than what the ones I've had been doing okay all right Twizzlers, my Twizzlers, please. And nothing super duper perfect, but we're just going to find this little one right here and right there. And then we're going to, come on, snip that off. So we're going to, again, I'm just neatening this up so that they look nice and I'll do the same thing with the other one
Okay. Let's do this again. See where we're at. Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna not quite as close, but we're just gonna make it work. got these. Um, next thing I want to do, I'm going to set these aside for a minute, is I've made some holes here. I'm getting my big daddy out. I'm getting big daddy out here. And I'm going to, I've got my eighth of an inch hole. And I'm going to pop some holes in this. I've measured them out and uh, centered them and all that kind of stuff. And I don't know why I'm doing it without my paper. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. again. I suppose what I ought to do is first glue this down so then I don't have a I won't have a problem with it moving around. holes in here again. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven. All right, those are pretty good. Now I'm gonna find let's see. I believe I want them to be black. Smaller ones. Pretty sure I have some smaller black. Maybe I don't. Okay, well, let me dig around and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got two more to go. I went ahead and uh, found these little um, eyelets. And now eyelets rarely look fantastic on the back end. They split open and flatten out as per what they're supposed to do. So um, usually you're going to have to find a way to cover them up uh, or you'll have to use grommets if you are trying to use both sides. Grommets are made um, where both sides are going to look good together. 
Okay, so there is that. I wanted to, something in here that looked like a garment. Okay, so I think that looks pretty, pretty awesome. I don't know if I'm going to um, like run some some of this through there, or if I'm just going to leave it. I, I I don't know yet. Um, but anyway, I think since I'm putting these here, I can actually save some of this paper and. I think if I could get it right below, right above that L. Oh, sorry. If I could get it right above that L, that would give me a nice little strip for something. Okay. So I'm just going to flip this in here. And just right above that L. Perfect. Okay. So there's that. And uh, good. Okay. And I think, I think this is the one. Let's see which one has got more. I think this is the one that I was going to put around the edge here. I didn't cut this very well. Hold on. Okay. So, I'm going to glue the inside of this down here and glue the outside of this. And I suppose it wouldn't hurt I just run a little bead of glue down the end of this on both sides. The center doesn't really matter because the pocket's going to be over it. So, get this lined up on the bottom sides and there we go good 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 and then let's see where we're at here now I think I can get this wrapped around and still have it work Yes, I can. Yay! Hold on. Let's see. I don't want it to be so tight that we're not going to be able to get anything in it. So I think we'll be good there. Okay. So again, we're going to glue the inside of this one across the bottom and the outside of this one. bottom here. Come on, you can do it. There we go. And just 
Perfect. Oops. <laughs> Got my pin for my glue. Sorry, my I got my uh, bracelet back, and so you're back to hearing this banging on the hear it banging on the table again. Okay, so very nice, very nice. Now. Do I want to use the green? No, it's not. It's lined up down here pretty well, but not lined up right there. So I'll have to do something right there. I wonder if I just take a little piece of this. And I just move right across the top there. Nobody will be the wiser. And that will also incorporate this from the other page on the other side of the book. Very good. This back. Oh. Alrighty. Alrighty then. But let me first figure out, am I going to do the green, or what else do I have? What about this? Now, I dug around, this is from the Artisan. Um, I dug around and found this sheet of paper. Um, I actually found a couple different sheets of paper. And I also found um, Mother Goose collection. I found this sheet of paper, which will go with this stuff. Um, this side won't. Oh! <laughs> but this side will. So, yeah, because I I was just, you know, just getting a little nervous. A little nervous about what I was having left to choose from here. Or having left to work with. Not so much to choose from, but to work with. Okay. Um, now, I'm trying to keep in mind what I have on the other side. So, I could do this green. This is the green that's over you know, on the other side there. So this green would, would totally look very nice with that. This again is from the Artisan Style Collection. Um, let's see here. What else do I have? I don't really have anything large enough. I like this, but obviously it's not big enough, but it's good colors, and then I could do something just just right across here, but, I mean, it doesn't get much better in a, you know, matchy kind of way. I wonder if I did it this way. And then just put strips of a color there. That would probably look, and I could slide that up underneath this little strip as well. And then do little red snippets, which I happen to have some. What else do I have? That's long enough. Let's see. Little red snippets that are long enough. Well, that is from 
the other side of the paper or do I like the little red snippets this is from the shoes little red snippets well, having bits and pieces of shoe doesn't excite me in the least well, let me figure out what I'm going to do, and I will be back.